What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2008 BMW 328i and today I'm going to show you how you can unlock a key. These are called semi uh, smart keys because you have to put them into the slot and then press the start button. So as you can see this one doesn't work because every time you put the key in there it recognizes the key really quick. This one works by the way as you can see. I can open the switch um, so this one is locked because um, every time you program a key it gets locked to the vehicle to the number of the car so right now I'm just gonna give you an example that it is locked I have this programmer connected to the um, to the scanner and the way you can know if it's locked you have to select the program let me just, just, just let me just start from the beginning you have to put you have to click programmer accept and you have to connect this usb with this uh, it comes with the cable and everything so it's gonna check the upgrade file it checks that every time we're gonna select key uh and key read and write automatic detection and it's gonna detect the key and it's gonna say locked right here locked so that key is locked to another car and this one is locked right now to this car. Let me show you right now. It's gonna say locked, same thing. Okay. All right, so today we're going to unlock this key. I put this little uh, tag right here so I don't confuse them. So we're gonna unlock this key and the way we can unlock this is we actually need the original data from the uh, CAS module which is located down here, right here. We need to extract the information from the CAS module. And by doing that, we need to go to Immobilizer. And I have the car <clears throat> pre-selected here. So the file, that, the file that I got the information from was from a, uh, let me see real quick. It was from this car, 6603. So, I already got the information from the car, and I'll give you an example. I'm going to select this one right now with this bin. So, these keys have two, dim two different bin numbers stored, and we have to put the right one to make it work. Okay, so we are here already, and we're going to select Control Unit. And we're gonna select this one, CAS. So then we're gonna go to key operation. And it says right here, unlock key. So you can unlock this key by OBD2. That's only if you're gonna use the key on another car and you have already physically the car um, with, the, uh, with working everything fine, the locks and everything and opening the switch. So you're gonna, uh, you can do that by unlocking by your OBD or you can unlock with key data. Let me show you. So this function uses the, the key data that you backed up from the CAS module. I'm gonna press OK and as you can see here, I already have that information here. So I have, this is the first one I um, did a back file first. That's the B number for this key with the tag and this one is after I unlocked it and this file is for this key but I'm not gonna unlock that one so I'm gonna select that file uh, once you select it yes it says you have to put the key into the programmer and it says please connect the device program and place the key to unlock in the programmer slot remember um, the data must be from the cast module that this key was working on um, and also it must be a working key from that donor car or other car so there's a lot of things on uh, on ebay where you can get the computer you can get the whole bundle and just plug and play and it will start but if you just want to add an additional key or also you can get a version one too on online they're not too expensive but this is just a demonstration 
on how to unlock those particular keys so it's gonna try to unlock the key sometimes it, it does it on the first try and sometimes it takes a little bit more more tries but it, it will eventually work because I already did it and I programmed it back to the car and now I'm gonna unlock it again so as you can see it says key unlock successfully and we're gonna exit this we're gonna go back to the programmer and we're gonna do the same function again so remember this this key with tech was from another car it was already programmed to another car and I just extracted the information from the other cast module from the donor car and I saved it to unlock the key so as you can see here it says unlocked and now what I can do now is program the key for this car I can be I can program this key now to this car and as you can see it's not working right now because we have to program it but this key works and that's all we need we need a working key so to program the key we're going to go back to the mobilizer immobilizer we press yes and after doing this uh, it's pretty much like having a new key so it will be just adding another key or if you lost all keys you can do the same thing you need Wi-Fi for this I have Wi-Fi connected already and it's gonna scan the whole thing We're just gonna wait and scanning everything. As you can see, we have two keys already programmed into this car. And now we're gonna go key add. So attention, it requires Wi-Fi. Yes, we have Wi-Fi. Ignition is on, we're gonna press OK. And it remember it's a semi-smart key because you have the slot to put it in. Uh, it says remove the key from the ignition we're gonna press ok and it's gonna start the process so what the tool is gonna do right now is gonna read the information from the cast module it's gonna extract the key data that has stored in there and it's gonna obtain the password and for that you need the, a working key it's gonna ask me for a key right now so as you can see current cast of data is encrypted please insert a working key into the ignition first okay and we press ok it's gonna obtain the password from the key actually what it's gonna do is what I believe copy the password from that key and paste it to this one okay so right now it's asking me to put the new key that I want to program and for that you have to connect the programmer so we're gonna remove this one uh, no actually we're gonna put this one because this is this is the one that I already unlocked and I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna generate the key and the scanner is doing everything by itself I'm not doing anything like really hard like desoldering or something like that so it's gonna do it by itself and I see the programmer is working right now so that's good we should see a good working key right now okay so it says key successfully programmed please insert the new key and make sure the key is gonna start the vehicle so remember this one without the tag it was the one I was using working good and this one like I show you at the first, at the beginning it didn't work at all so right now we're gonna check it and there we go as you can see that key is already programmed too and now we're gonna uh, see if it starts the vehicle and there we go so yeah it's pretty simple on these cars when you have the data um, right because if you don't have the right data for this then it's not gonna work so yeah 
So this is pretty much how you program and unlock a key for a BMW 2008. I believe is the um, the same procedure from 2005 all the way to 2010. So yeah, this will be pretty much the end of the video, guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you on the next episode.